In this video, I'm going to address two of your questions. First, how can you use options to fix or repair a losing covered call position? And the second question is an even more popular one. How can we use options to trade in Tesla stock? We'll answer both of those questions in this video starting right now. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mindful Learning. My name is Randy Perez. Please note I am not a financial advisor. This video is for educational purposes only. It is not meant to be investment advice of any sort. I am, however, a 22 plus year stock and option trader as well as real estate investor. Before we get started, I just ask one thing of you. Please hit the like button to support this channel. I'm about to give you some really awesome information I know you're going to find great benefit in. So if you appreciate the kind of material I provide for you on this channel, please support it by hitting the thumbs up like button. Thank you for that. Let's get started. Next, I want to answer one of those popular questions that I get asked about here on YouTube. If I were to trade in Tesla, how would I use options to do that? Just for kicks, since we just checked out the beta of Campbell's Soup, let's check out what the beta is of Tesla. Here you see in the blue box that contrary to Campbell's Soup, Tesla has a very high beta. On average, it moves $2.29 for every dollar that the overall market moves up or down. That's one reason why it can be very challenging to trade options in Tesla. But if I were to trade options in Tesla, this is how I would do it. Now, please understand that what I'm about to talk through is totally hypothetical. I'm in no way suggesting that you make these trades. In fact, although I like the company, at this time, I do not feel comfortable trading in Tesla because I prefer to trade options or buy outright stock and companies have a long track record of profitability as well as being a long-term successful business. It does mean that I will miss out on some opportunities, but I'm totally good with that because my number one goal in trading is to protect my capital. That's followed by my second most important goal, which is to get as high a return as possible while protecting that capital. But let's say for the sake of this video and for the sake of answering your questions about how I would trade Tesla, that I wanted to make an option trade in Tesla. How would I do it? After researching the fundamentals of a company, the next step that I take is to look at the charts of the company to see if it generally tends to follow the rules of technical analysis. Here you see the daily chart of Tesla. Notice where the white arrows are that Tesla does appear to find support around its moving averages. The green line is the 50 exponential moving average and the red line is the 200 exponential moving average. Also notice where the yellow arrows are that the green 50 exponential moving average does appear to serve as resistance at times for Tesla. Notice where the two purple arrows are that when there is buying pressure reflected in the volume bars that Tesla does tend to have momentum to the upside. Conversely, if you look at some of the downward moves in Tesla, such as the downward move where the far left yellow arrow is located at, that downward pressure was coupled with an increase in red volume bars down in the volume section. So based on what we're seeing here, we can be pretty confident that Tesla does follow the general rules of technical analysis. So if we felt bullish about Tesla, what is a trade that we might consider doing right now in this stock? Let's zoom in here to the chart to try and pick some support and resistance locations. First of all, notice where the purple line is. This is an area that previously served as resistance for Tesla over the past month or so. That happens to be right at the green 50 moving average. If we were bullish on Tesla, we could probably feel pretty comfortable that this area could again serve as support, at least temporarily, for Tesla. That's why I put the white arrow there. However, notice that where the yellow arrow is, Tesla gapped up two days ago. Most stocks like to come back down and fill their gaps at some point in the future. That being said, from a technical standpoint, we do believe that the odds are in our favor that Tesla will come back down to fill that gap, which is right around $657. However, if no surprise news comes out, which is not something I feel very confident saying about Tesla and Elon Musk, but if no surprise news comes out, then we'd expect this green 50 moving average as well as the purple area of previous support to hold, which are both right at $637 per share. If you want to use options to take a bullish position in Tesla, there are two ways that I would consider doing this. Now keep in mind, as you can see here in the purple box, that Tesla earnings are coming out in less than a month. So if you want to be a little more conservative, you might consider trading options that expire before that earnings date. I typically don't mind trading through earnings and stocks that we trade in because they are what I consider safe, solid, mature, and consistently profitable companies. But in the case of Tesla, I would not feel comfortable trading through earnings. So I would want to make sure that I only trade in options 
that expire before that earnings day. Here you see the option chain that expires a few days before earnings on July 16th. Remember, we said that our support should be right around $637 per share. Let's take a look at the strike prices in that area and see what kind of return we could get. If we sold the $635 strike price, we should be able to get somewhere between $17.85 per share and $18.5 per share. So if you go in the middle of that, we should get around $18.17 per share. Right now, there are 19 days until that expiration day. If you run the annualized non-leveraged cash on cash return, that equates to right at a 55% return. If you want to buy yourself some protection, just in case Tesla had a big drop in price, then you might consider buying a put option that's farther out of the money than the one you're selling. This will be called doing a bullish credit spread. The other way I'll consider using options to take a bullish position in Tesla will be to do a poor man's covered call using a leap option. I mean, why not? This is a $671 per share stock that doesn't pay a dividend. Why not limit our downside while taking advantage of the majority of the upside move if Tesla does go up? If you buy 100 shares of Tesla stock, it currently costs you over $67,000. Let's use options to put less of our harder money at risk and capture most of the gain. Here you see the farthest dated leap options in Tesla. They expire, as you can see, up top in the purple box on June 16th of 23, or in 719 days. Where you see the yellow rectangle, that's the lowest strike price available to buy call options in Tesla at right now. It's at $550. If you look at the far left column under bid and ask, you see that it would cost between $262 and $275 per share. So let's just go in the middle and say that this option will cost us approximately $268 per share. That means that for 100 shares, it would cost us $26,800. Also, if you notice under the column Delta in the orange box, these leap options should go up in value by about 74.7 .7 cents for every dollar that Tesla goes up. At this point, you have two more ways you can decrease that cost basis of your leap option. One of them, as you can see here, would be in the green box. If you felt very bullish on Tesla, you might consider selling the $650 leap put option, which would put into your pocket somewhere between $192.5 and $207.50 per share. So let's just go in the middle of that and say that we'd be able to get right at $200 per share for selling that leap put option. That would mean that we are on the hook to buy Tesla at $650 per share at any time over the next 719 days. If you felt comfortable with that, it would lower your cost basis from the cost of the leap call option that we bought, which if you remember, it was right at $268 per share. By selling this put option, it would lower that down to only $68 per share. Then on top of that, you could also turn this into a poor man's covered call. That means that you would own the leap call option that we spoke about, for example, the 550 option that expires in June of 23, and you would sell a near-term call option that are out of the money in Tesla. Here you see that same option chain. However, this time, instead of looking at support, let's go back to our chart and ask ourselves, where do we think Tesla will not get to between now and July 16th? Here you see where the white line is located at. That's the $800 area. Just below that is where it found resistance back in April. So you might say, I feel comfortable selling the 800 call options. Notice here in the red rectangle that we should be able to get around $4.45 per share for selling that call option. If we just kept our same scenario here, we bought the leap call option for $268 per share, we sold the leap put option for $200 per share, and now we sold the near-term $800 call option for $445 per share. By using these three options, we've taken a bullish position in Tesla, and it only cost us $63.55 per share, or $6,355 for this overall position. That's pretty good on a $675 stock. By the way, if that was really useful, what I just share with you, then I would love it if you just give this video a like. Just bump the like button. And thank you so much for doing that. Remember that if you do this position that we just talked through, you're not only bullish on the leap option you bought, but you're also bullish on the leap put option that you sold. So if Tesla were to decline in a big way, both those positions would lose value. Also, keep in mind that you would have to have margin available or you would need to have the cash available just in case that leap put option was put into your account if it's time value decreased to nearly zero. If you'd like to receive alerts as soon as we make trades similar to the trades I talked through in this video, consider the benefits of becoming a patient at the link in the description below. If you'd like more information on how to use covered call options to generate awesome cash flow in return, check out the video series in the link above and the description below entitled Covered Call Option Trading. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.